Welcome to lesson one on core properties. Before we look at properties of chords in a circle, we'll define some terms. A chord is a line segment that joins two points on a circle. And if the chord happens to go through the center of the circle, then we call it the diameter. So the diameter is just a special chord. For example, line segment AB and line segment CD are both chords. And since CD passed through the center of the set circle, then we call that a diameter. Now just to look at a couple of line segments that are not chords, if you have a line connecting these two points here, or a line coming from the outer edge of the circle into the center, which we call a radius, these would not be considered chords. The two endpoints of the line segments need to actually be on the outer edge of the circle, like A and B, and C and D are. Now a perpendicular bisector intersects a line segment at a 90 degree angle and it divides a line segment into two equal parts. So if we have this line segment here, then this line segment here is called a perpendicular bisector because they intersect it at a 90 degree angle and it cut the line segment into two equal parts. So now for core property number one. A line coming from the center of the circle that is perpendicular to a chord will bisect the chord. So this is our chord, and this is the line segment coming from the center. If this angle is 90 degrees, then it must cut it in half. So these two are equal. Now the second core property is essentially the opposite of the first one. If you have a line that comes from the center of the circle and it bisects the chord, then it must be perpendicular. So if this is the chord, and this is the line coming from the center. If that line cut this one here in half, then this must be a 90 degree angle. Now the last core property says that if a line is a perpendicular bisector of a chord, then it must pass through the center of the circle. So if this is our chord, and this one here is the perpendicular bisector, because it's 90 degrees and it cut in half, then if I extend this line, at some point it must pass through the center of the circle. 